taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into T A S T E buds. <laughs> wow, that Sorry. was like that was like like that's how it starts, just with the T. I forgot to say, here we are. Welcome to. No, I like it. It's yeah, almost like it. it's and almost like you screeched in, like Dukes of Hazard or something. Realized you weren't ready. Yeah, sorry. Uh, no, it's I good. Liked it. One yeah. of the things they say in uh, in improv, which I know you love, is uh, <laughs> it's to start a scene right in the middle already. Don't don't mess around. Start in the action. That's what you just did. You want to know how bad I am at improv? Yeah. Mary Lynn Reichkop. You know Mary yeah, Lynn. I she's, don't know her. She's a lovely person and very funny and and amazing at at improv. Super. Yeah. I did a. Uh, Oh, or she's a stand-up too, though. Yeah. Uh, and I did, I did a show with her, not with her, like we were on a show together in in L.A. And the premise of the show was they had people do stand-up, they'd stand up to stand-up, and then they had improv people do improv, sure. and then they made everybody flip, and they made the stand-ups do improv, and the improv people do stand-up. Well, that's that's in your favor because if they don't have material, they don't have material. It wasn't in my favor. Okay. Because I got paired up with Mary Lynn. And they said, "Here's the scenario: you, you work at Starbucks, and she's a she's an irate customer. And she came in, and I'm so mad at improv. I said, all I could think of to say was, I really thought you were great on 24, <laughs> which is what she really does. She, you know, and I was like, I literally couldn't think of anything, dude. I'm so bad at it. Like I was like, I don't understand. We improvise here all the whole day. It's like." We did. I won't spoil it. We did an. Imp, we did a sort of an improv last night on the live stream, and I didn't. I, oh. I started doing the fake conversation. It was my conversation. It was so bad. Right, if you. I'm in a scene, like if I'm acting in a scene, and they're like, just keep going, like let it go. But yeah. there's like an, a premise and like lines, and I'm like, oh, I could go. That's a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. But if you literally just go like, okay. Boom, 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 go! Like, I'm like, I, I'm lost. Yeah. Like, the fact that people do that and make it funny, but yeah. I can do crowd work, kind of. Like, I don't understand. It's just, I, it's you're just, you, you have the skill set, you just not don't know how to apply it. That's what it like, is. Like, you know, there are some fundamentals that'll get you, like, that'll at least give you a little push immediately, you know? But it's basically just following, following and adding. It's all it is. It's, 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 it's uh, affirming and adding. It's Affirming all it is. and adding, following. Yes, and is the the big blah blah blah. But it it's true. It, right. it works. You're just building something. You build. You build. Um, what uh, we're well, let's not talk about what we were, what we were talking yeah, about. Yeah, I, I don't want to talk about that. But uh, we were uh, we were we we're here to. Oh boy, Look, I'm <laughs> sorry. A, I just started thinking about it. And I got, I, <laughs> sorry. You got right, two, go you got go two guys here that you know can really hyper focus on stuff and can can worry. And we're not going to get into it because it comes up all the time now because rightfully so because it's, it's what's in the news all the time and it keeps getting more updated. It's, it's just this AI and its threat to humanity. We're not going to go there. Instead of talking about AI and the threat to humanity, we will talk about bacon and eggs and cold cereal. Yes. I almost think we can get right into the battle. Okay. Because I feel like there's a lot of uh, meat on this bone. Mm. As you like to say. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, I mean, this is a pretty... This is a pretty big battle. I mean, this is like... This is, you know... I mean, we're talking about the, the, the titans of breakfast here. Yeah. This is like... You know, there are people out there that love pancakes that hate pancakes. There are people out there that love waffles. They hate waffles. There are people that think oatmeal is great. There are people that think it's disgusting. Some people love a half a grapefruit. Other people think it's the most, uh, you know, it's torturous or whatever. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. That's true, you know. But I got to say, you picture breakfast. I mean, this these are the two things. You you, you picture it. You see a bowl yeah. of cereal in your head or you yeah, see bacon and eggs. That, that's right? a decent point, but I'm not really leaning into what do you think of when you think of breakfast. I'm leaning into what... Do I prefer if I had to choose? Now, I'm not even saying I love bacon and eggs. I'm not even saying that. I mean, let me get that straight. Let me say, let me rephrase that. I do love bacon and eggs when I'm in the mood for it, um, and I and it, it hits the spot. And sometimes you just want bacon, but actually, a lot of times I do not want bacon my, myself. And I know one's hot and one's protein, and I know mine is like usually not nutritious and has sugar. So as far as nutritionally. 
there really is no debate there. But when I'm talking about, well, I will be pointing what that out I in would, the debate. I pointed it out. I, I will be hammering that. Yeah, but I already did. No, but I will be. But you don't even need to. But I will be. But it's already a point that I'm making for you. No, but I will be. Fine, fair enough. All right. If you have, if you don't have enough other things, then just double up on that. Um, I'm (laughs) talking. He's on one today, folks. (laughs) Did we go battle buds? No, we didn't start yet. Battle buds. Okay. No, no. All right, that's fair because I did the other chant shitty and you did. Uh, All right. (laughs) Um, We did the chant shitty. I'm more like, okay. Do you want to do an I, no matter what happens, I love you? Because last battle got kind of heated. (laughs) heated. Ready? Yeah, sure. All right. All right. I don't feel like reaching across. Uh, Let's just skip it. (laughs) Oh, boy. We're not in a good way today. No, I'm in a good way. I'm not in a good way, actually. But I'm not either. but, But it has nothing to do with skipping no matter what happens, I love you. No, I, I know, but I feel like we're both kind of blah today, and like and like the fact that we don't want to reach over and touch each other and do the chant, like I feel like is a reflection of that. <laughs> we don't want to re- We don't want to do this. I know. I'm- <laughs> you guys also worked hard much. last night on the live show. Yeah, the live show. I gotta tell you, I have been, I have been stressed to my gills for a number of reasons, and I really thought that once we got, and I even said. To, to Sal last night. I just had to get through this live stream so I could t- exhale. And it's it wasn't that. <laughs> I was very upset. I don't mean to laugh. No, right? It sucks. I'm just like, I oh. Know. I woke up today feeling the way I've been feeling, and I was like, oh, shit, it wasn't the live stream that was stressing me out. Like, dun, it's, dun, dun. it's other stuff. <laughs> and, uh, and it was not a good realization. Uh. That, you know, like, so... I, I know that I'm stressed right now because I'm starting to... I'm doing the thing in my head where I'm like... Maybe I should just go get a whiskey after that. Like, I, it's like when I start thinking like that, I'm like, uh oh. Yeah. Like, this is. Uh-oh. Like, I don't know if I should Uh-oh. be. Yeah. Um, anyway. Uh-oh. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Battle so, Buds. We're so in. The, the, way that I'm, I, the way that I'm looking at it is. Uh, Without a doubt, uh, I'm I, I could eat cereal every day. I'm more I mean, I'm more in the mood for cereal than I am for bacon and eggs. When I say I need to be in the mood for bacon and eggs, you know, I could have it. I could really be craving it. But just like, you know, the go-to, the simple thing, the fun thing, the thing that really is consistent from kid to now, uh, is cereal for me. I mean, there's a massive variety. I mean, an egg is an egg and bacon is bacon. There are 200 cereals, you know, uh, all to fit your liking. They, there can be healthy cereals. Not They're all not great. And there can be cereals that are bad for you. But cereal is fun. Cereal is easy. Cereal, um, you don't have to, if you want cereal, you're having cereal in 30 seconds. You're not cooking anything. You're not cracking eggs. You're not cleaning grease off a pan, okay? Um, Cereal, perfect snack whenever, really. Uh, We're talking, I just wrote choose one, so we're not exclusively talking breakfast. We know we can eat all of these whenever. People have breakfast for dinner. But I love, like, settling into, like, you know, anything, like an SNL and getting a bowl of cereal. I will say, uh, I will say... Um, aside from, I, I want to talk about the sustenance, but not from a nutritional standpoint, because uh, as you pointed out, it's no contest. One is basic. Well, but uh, actually, there's a healthy version of cereal, and there's a version of cereal. It's the shit nobody wants, but you know, you could eat the high fiber or whatever and go, you know, that actually does give me there there are benefits to that sure. or whatever low sugar so, high fiber you know li- low cal- way low way lower in fat than bacon and eggs and cholesterol you, you most most cereal in fact even the worst kinds for you are zero cholesterol right so so i would say nutrition true you got cholesterol there you got saturated fat you got grease you got i don't th- is there saturated fat oh no yeah but no trans fat mm-hmm. right yeah but uh, okay but so i would say i would say there's there's a healthy way there's a healthier way to eat both of these you could eat egg whites you could eat turkey bacon you could not fry it in butter you could bake the egg you could bake the bacon there there, there you could hard boil the egg the there, indulgent version is the best version though of course of both of both foods you if you're going to do these you want captain crunch versus sunny side up greasy bacon, you know, or scrambled greasy bacon, right? So I prefer the sunny side up these days. But uh, I will just say from a sustenance place, I don't even know if I'm using the right word, 
No, yes, I will start with sustenance. If you got a long day ahead of you and you wake up hungry. Sure, that protein's going to carry you. Sure. Yeah, you know, construction. There's a reason you there see protein, construction there, workers in a diner eating bacon there, and there, eggs there at the beginning of the day. There are protein-fortified cereals as well. Sure, sure. But, I, you know, but I will say this. <laughs> this is my <laughs> biggest. In the humorous. This is my biggest argument pro bacon eggs. There's a satisfaction quality it brings, that dish brings, that I cannot get from cereal as much as I love cereal. I can, sitting, and I'll give you the two versions of it. Sitting, I'll give you this, I'm sorry, I keep cutting myself off, uh, but I, I will give you both versions. I'm trying to give, here's the better. Sorry, right, you can't help it. The, here's the second favorite of the two. And then I'll give you my favorite. Waking up. It's a cozy winter's morning, or it's a beautiful, breezy summer morning. The sun's shining. You open the windows. You got the breeze going. The fresh air's going. There's just nothing like, hey, guys, let's have breakfast. And, like, you pull out the skillet, and you make eggs, and you smell the bacon, and you get it going. That is incredible, especially if you're in a house with guests. When we go away, there will be a day when that happens. And that is going to lift everybody's spirits, like cartoon style, like your nose lifts you out of bed, and you follow the... Mm -hmm. sent to the kitchen, right? Floating. That's an, um, that's an well, amazing... That happens with Fruit Loops, too. That's an amazing <laughs> experience. But my favorite... That, and you can't, Sam, that was the whole advertising campaign. Follow yes. my nose. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That is, uh, but my favorite is there is just nothing more satisfying when you want breakfast, going into a diner, sitting at that countertop, and you get eggs and bacon and black coffee and you sit there just you just sit there like it's time for business <laughs> like you you sit there with your thoughts and you just go through it and you sip the coffee and you and you dip the bacon in the yolk and i mean you're just like you feel like a you feel like an adult you're like it's i, I have a day ahead of me right but now. conversely sometimes cereal makes me feel like a kid again and i love that Cereal is fun. It's 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 it was like obviously marketed toward children at one point, but it's fun. It's colorful. Uh, uh, I mean, don't even get me started on the prizes. Okay, growing up, the I think me and my an sister unfair, used to. I think that's. I'm going to allow it, but I think that's an unfair thing to bring into the argument. I think that's unfair. You who you're going to allow it? Who are you, Judge Ito? We do this. You got, how is it unfair? It's it's a literally it's married. To the to the to the experience I, of a cereal. I think I think certain cereals do it. I think you're honing in on a specific thing that sure. certain cereals do. Sure, I am. I don't think it. I don't think it fairly speaks to which of these foods is better. I don't think that an, an attribute but, of cereal is a toy is in the box. But it, but cer but certainly it is. I mean, I'm, obviously, sure. It's it's not like in every box, but, but it's completely part of the experience of some of it. It was fully and wholly part of my growing up cereal experience, and it's one of the things that made cereal so, you know, desired by me. I think that would be like me saying uh, Easter egg hunts are, are part of my argument. Because I of the don't di dying eggs that. at Easter is so fun. Like, you know, you hard-boil the egg well, and you die. But you're it. talking about eating. Right, that's what I'm saying. The toy is not part of eating. The toy is a separate... <sighs> I'm talking, but if you no, you, we know it'd be similar if the you, kid quality to you, me is you, you're eating something with pink marshmallows yeah. inside of it. But do you know, you know what it'd be like. Let me make the comparison. It'd be like if you opened a dozen eggs and there was a prize in there. <laughs> that's that's really the only comparison of to make. That's what it would be right, like. That's really the only comparison. But I wouldn't if if, if that was what if that was the mo. I mean, that's the mo. All right. Then I would say I would say I, part I will, of the experience. Then I will then I will see your toy argument with. Uh, and, and as far as I'm concerned, this is an anti up. Uh, I have tons of friends at this point who have their own chickens in their backyard and they get fresh eggs every day out of their own backyard. You can't do that with cereal. You can't make your own cereal. You can't give back in your own weird, small way to society <laughs> by having a cereal uh, animal in the back you that shits cocoa puffs into <laughs> a bowl every you morning. You certainly can customize cereal, though. You can customize it. I mean, I, I, mean? I have my Cheerios. I cut a banana in that well, shit. you can customize. I'm saying, I though. I put blueberries. I'm just saying. Well, of course you can customize it. I'm saying, though, you can't, you're, you can't make it. You can't. Well, I'm saying, like, you're kind of, when you're adding stuff to it, you're kind of making a bespoke version of it for yourself. I think and that's a bit of a stretch. 
Well, a bowl of cereal alone or a bowl of cereal with keep it bananas above, and some sprinkled sugar or whatever it is in there is a different two different but dishes. My, my, my point is, is you can't say a benefit of cereal is you can get your own chicken and get cereal for for almost nothing and 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 help contribute to a societal issue of overpriced eggs like uh, i think that's a huge attribute to the egg that you could literally get a chicken and get your own eggs like, yeah i'm I, not I, comparing what i just said to that i'm just okay. saying it as its own thing and not, like you know all right I mean? well i could put ketchup on my eggs or hot sauce i For mean sure. you know any 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 food that allows me ketchup and hot sauce i I'm think not people um Folks, let's talk about ButcherBox, one of my fave sponsors here at the Taste Buds podcast. Uh, I love the options and the deals ButcherBox is offering. Going to the grocery store can be a real pain in the tuchus, and I like that ButcherBox is bringing me quality meat at affordable prices conveniently. Uh, you want grass-fed beef. You want cage-free chicken. You want humanely raised pork that's crate free. Uh, you want wild caught seafood. These things are hard to find, uh, and they are they are even harder to find at prices that are affordable to you. I personally like the steaks. I'm a big red meat guy. I know we're not supposed to eat tons of red meat all the time, but if you're gonna eat it, you should eat it in the healthiest way possible. And Butcher Box helps me do that, allows me to do that in a way that I can afford to do it. It's convenient. I don't like it's to very it convenient. takes out a whole portion of going to the supermarket. You don't have to shop for anything. They send you everything and you have it in the freezer, you have it when you need it. You could it's a and subscription the, service. You can curate it yourself. The fact that it's cheaper is crazy. Yeah. It's like I can't wrap my head around that it that it's more you know, usually you go, Well, if you get it delivered, sure, but then it's gonna be more no, money. Because it's free shipping always. Yeah. Uh, you can curate you can customize your own boxes. Uh, and there's recipe inspiration, guides, tips, and hacks. ButcherBox is giving you guys a special deal. Sign up today using code TASTEBUDS to receive ground beef for a year, plus $20 off your first order. How great is that? Two it pounds just, of ground yeah. beef. It's just, free in every single box for one year. Yeah, plus 20 bucks off that first order. So you're going to go sign up. sign up at butcherbox.com slash TASTEBUDS and use promo code TASTEBUDS. Again, butcherbox.com slash TASTEBUDS with promo code TASTEBUDS. Folks, folks, let's talk about our sponsor next, Evo CBD. CBD is a substance that a lot of people like utilizing these days. Why? Well, because a lot of us are anxious. A lot of us aren't sleeping properly. A lot of us need a little assist in staying calm. And a lot of us want to do that in a natural way, not doing it with some sort of prescription medication. Sure. And next, Evo Naturals is exactly that. I have taken it. Um, I... It helps me de-stress. It helps me unwind at the end of the day. I don't take it every day. I take it when I particularly feel like I'm having, you know, uh, having trouble relaxing, winding down, or a really stressful day. Yeah. And it's it's just natural. They developed smart sorb technology, uh, and and what that does, it's, it's clinically proven to help your body absorb the, C the CBD four times faster than let's say regular CBD oil. It also works faster. So when you need to de-stress reach for uh, the next Evo products, okay? Yeah, sleep better. It's the summertime. You're going to want to sleep better. There's nothing worse than tossing and turning. I can't stand it. And especially in a, in a, in a season like the summer when you want to be rested so you can get up and attack the beautiful, sunshiny days. So check out Next Evo. It's a CBD you can enjoy no matter what, wherever the summer is takes you the all natural products are backed by more scientific studies than any other CBD brand developed by experienced consumer healthcare and pharmaceutical professionals stay well this summer with smarter CBD from next Evo naturals go to nextevo.com slash taste buds that's n-e-x-t evo.com slash taste buds to get 20% off your first order of $40 or more that's 20% off at next Evo, N E X T E V O dot com slash taste buds. A lot of people uh, have a favorite cereal, multiple favorite cereals. Uh, I think it's a feel good food when you have your cereal in there and you're like, you know what, let me have it. It's a comfort. I think that people get emotionally attached to cereal. And I think an emotional attachment when you, is, is something that is worth mentioning because it means that you. You want it not just for like eating it. I don't know what it is, but like you know, you get attached as a kid to Toucan Sam or or Tony sure. the Tiger. You know, you like you know, you kind of you kind of just kind of like it. It has a a cereal has an identity. Every cereal has a different identity, and 
in that respect, the possibilities are endless. I mean, yeah, you could yeah. you could sunny side up it and you can scramble it. I would but say I could, I could have hundreds of options with the cereal. I would say I think I think that both have their own identity. I think they're they're different types of identities, though. Meaning this. I think with cereal, it offer. I th- uh, this is the better way to phrase it. I think what you're saying is it's a comfort food. Absolutely. I think they're comfort foods and different. They're different styles of comfort foods, though. Cereal is a comfort food in the way that your favorite cartoon from childhood makes you feel warm inside. It's that kind of thing. Bacon and eggs to me is a comfort food in the sense of like it's like Americana. Like it's just it's like. Bacon and eggs could almost go on the flag, and you'd be like, "Yeah, that makes sense." It certainly <laughs> yeah, is. It yeah. certainly is the powerhouse of breakfast. I mean, it's for it's, sure. It's just. It's ju- sure. there's just but, nothing. There's just nothing else like it at breakfast. It is the breakfast food. It is the one. If you told and me if for breakfast for dinner, bacon and eggs are coming into that mix, and people love breakfast. I mean, dinner. cereal is twenty four seven. Though you could have it any minute of the day. Yeah, but you can't cereal. You cannot have. If you said we're having breakfast for dinner and I put out cereal, you'd be like, come on, dude, where's the where's the eggs? Where's the pancakes? Where's what else we got here? Well, that's kind of a misdirect. You, you All I'm saying is like but I'm cereal saying, transcends breakfast though. Cereal is a snack. I know. I know. But I'm saying like cereal is is it, it is a snack. It's 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 a it's candy, basically. No, it's, no, 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 no. There's there's hundreds of varieties and a lot of them are not candy. I know, but let's there's oats. Yeah. Are you enjoying that? This is fiber. There's bran. I, yeah, I do love it. I love all. I love all cereals. I don't. But hate. my point is, is like you're not eating a bowl of bran Meat. flakes for dinner or for lunch. You eat it for breakfast. No, I eat it whenever I want. Though. And you might. I know. But I'm saying. So what you said is not does not apply. I'm saying the only meal it could be is breakfast. That's it. Or uh, outside Why? of breakfast, it's a snack. No. I, I've never seen. If you I, have you have a two bowls of something for breakfast, you had breakfast. If you decide to have those two bowls for lunch, you had cereal for lunch. I have never in my life seen a human being, including myself. I'm saying this. I've never seen it. I'm not saying it doesn't exist. I'm saying I've never seen it. I have never seen a human being eat cereal for lunch. <laughs> like I've just never seen it. Okay, but I mean, it's, I'm sure it's common every day. I don't think it's common. I think that I don't. I think that cereal serves two purposes. It's either breakfast or it's late night snack. I don't think that cereal comes in. It certainly is not a dinner food. People don't eat cereal for dinner. Come on, dude. You know that they don't. You can eat cereal at any time you of the day. Can eat if any, you, so you could eat anything any time of the day if you so right. choose. That's not what we're talking about. Hmm. I'm saying to you, you would never eat cereal for dinner. You I've just, done it. <laughs> Do you want me to lie to you? I don't you know what to say. Sal. I've done it. I, does it disappoint you that I've done it? I mean, I've done it. I've li- I've eaten everything. I'm saying for though, can you give me something on this that it's it, it's not something people do traditionally? No, people don't want a cold bowl of cereal for dinner. But that's yes. but that's okay. Whereas bacon and eggs could be any meal, and people do in fact eat it at any meal. Let me po- let me pose you this: If you told me right now that this next calendar week for seven days I had to have bacon and eggs every morning, I would not. That would not appeal to me. I would be like, that's overkill. I'm not going to want bacon and eggs seven days in a row. I wouldn't want seven like, days in a row. If you were like, hey, all we got for cereal uh, for breakfast this week is cereal, I'd be like, okay. I'd I wouldn't be, bat an eye. I would be horrified if you told me I had to eat cereal for breakfast. Horrified is the word you're going with? Yes. Yes. I can't think of I a, even said that it wouldn't appeal to me. I, I would be horrified. You're not being Here's hyperbolic? Why. I can't think of a worse way to start my day. Okay. For two reasons, I, I'm telling you, I will, I will expound. Uh, for two reasons, any cereal I would want to eat is horrid for me, and I will feel guilt and lethargic and every terrible thing that you can feel from eating a bowl of sugar. And any cereal that is good for me is revolting, and I don't want to eat it. Yes, that's it. Like okay. that's but it. But that's your application of cereal. It's different for everybody. Okay, but your thing was your application of bacon and eggs. Sure. Yeah, but like... But I'm saying I even like bacon and eggs, but I, I can't eat it seven days in a row. I, 
I wouldn't want to eat bacon and eggs seven days in a row. I wouldn't want to eat anything seven days in a row. I, I, you, you like to often make that argument of if I had to eat it seven days. I don't want to. I don't ever want to eat anything seven. Well, days it's in hypothetical, a row. Joe. But I'm, but but I'm saying it's hypothetical to like lean into a point. I don't think it's a good point. I think eating anything ad nauseum is why the term ad nauseum. It, 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 okay. It's a perfect. Ap- ap- application of the term i don't want i don't want to eat anything seven days in a row my point is is if you told me hey dude on the days that you want breakfast and have to eat breakfast you have to either eat cereal or bacon and eggs and you pick which days you want to do that i would say bacon and eggs now fairly and this is me taking my personal shit out of it i don't eat bacon and eggs anymore in the morning because my stomach as i get older I can't do a heavy breakfast anymore, and it's too heavy for the me. The bacon gives me uh, heartburn. I get a little stomach ache from the eggs. Uh, so, so, but I also don't do cereal. Okay. My if I had to, mm-hmm. if I had my way, this is neither category. Technically, it's hot cereal, but we, that's not what we're doing here. No, we it's cold. cold I, said, I said, okay. signified cold. I would do, you give me an apple and cinnamon Quaker Oats oatmeal every morning. I'm not mad at you. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm just not. It's, 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 it's warm. Well, it's, let's do that. Let's do that in a battle if you love that. I love it. Because I've been, I've been I wanting to do French toast. T- French toast? Yeah. Versus oatmeal? We'd have to broaden it up a little bit. Maybe we'd be a little specific. Can you say apples and cinnamon oatmeal? Is that broad enough? I don't think that's broad enough. People, I think, when they think of oatmeal, they think of like raisins and syrup and shit. Mm. Yeah. I've only ever seen apples and cinnamon oatmeal, by the way, in the Quaker Oats packets. Whenever you get it in a restaurant, they, they bring out oatmeal, and then they bring out, like you're a bartender. Like you <laughs> yeah, they're like, here are bowls Self of serve, things and yeah. whatever you want to do. Yeah, like, uh, but... Uh, can I can I add a point to the cereal? I think yes. cereal is fun to eat. Of course. I like the fact that, you know, at first you control the milk ratio. You control how fast you want to eat it, so you can get some dry or crunchy cereal on top. You you know, as every person who eats cereal has a method, and a preferred method. And I think that is a very good attribute of cereal. And I like the fact that it takes you on a journey. You crunch it up top, you medium in the middle. If you so choose, you can wait, get soggy. I didn't even start talking about the milk. The milk at the end is just a whole nother thing that only happens with cereal and everyone i don't i've never met a person that doesn't love cereal milk i will take over cereal milk yeah i, I i've enjoyed cereal milk when i when i eat cereal absolutely it's like a cherry on but top. over cereal milk i will take dunking buttered toast into egg yolk i mean it's just it's just the greatest thing of all time the toast you can't apply here okay well then dunking even dunking the bacon into it okay dunking into an egg yolk is is Oh my God, man! Yeah, it's, I, it's I gotta, unreal. I gotta be honest with you. I scramble uh, 90 percent of the time because if I do decide to do a runny egg, actually, there's a fifty-fifty shot that I'm gonna be grossed out by it. It has this slimy, and then you start thinking, "What am I doing, dear God? This is an aborted chicken." <laughs> Okay, I, I mean well, you I'll can get you salmonella if it's not if it's not I mean, cooked properly. I'm bringing slaughter Can't to the die battle in ways that you're not right now. I mean, sure. it, just, it almost looks like a muc, like a phlegm, like a yellow phlegm, and like I don't know, man. Just sometimes, sometimes it could really, really gross me out. That might be a pro. It's it's closer to the magic of life rather than just processed food. I will say to Pimp's point. I mean, point, say whatever you want, but I I, I don't I don't feel I like w- eating placenta. Or whatever. I will say I will say to Pimp's point. Most diets, most modern day diets will allow you some form of egg, some form of bacon, whatever, whether it's in moderation or not, you can have it. There ain't a diet on planet Earth that goes, you should eat cereal in the morning. No, that's not true at all. A one cup of cereal with the right milk and, 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 and it's healthy is, is totally a good way to start your day with a well-balanced breakfast. I've read it. I don't know. Sal's, Sal's with big cereal. This cereal that promotes heart health. <laughs> <laughs> the heart health thing is real iffy with cereals. I mean, Cheerios claims I mean, you to You get that. you get your protein, you get your fiber. It, this, this cereals that are not bad for you. You know, you can you can be healthy. No, it's all about the suggested portions. I know, it's but it's it's even the ones that aren't bad for you. It's heavy carbs, heavy carbs, man. But you're loaded up on cholesterol and insane fat and, and grease. Still, and it's still processed. 
it's still, uh, no matter which way you slice it, cereal is a heavily processed food. It comes out of a factory. That, you know, can't argue that. It's 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 one of the reasons it's 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 not playing as big of a role. Warm family breakfast versus divorced dad crying through his Rice Krispies for dinner. That's funny. Um, uh, so so. I had a point. My ADHD kicked in. Hold on. You know what I like too—that you can. Um, that if you want more cereal, if you decide you want more cereal, it's also really fun when you've got milk left. You finish your cereal to pour in that second, second pour of cereal. Sure. Maybe it's a little lighter. Maybe fifty percent lighter. But you pour it in because you can tailor exactly how much you want to eat. Now, if you eat a couple eggs and a couple of strips of bacon, and you're still hungry. You got to go back and start cracking eggs. I think and that's a, bacon on I again. think that that's a. I think that I actually think that's a huge attribute to my breakfast. I think it's. I think that is one of the biggest detriments in the world with cereal. You eat it too quickly. You a lot of with a lot of brands are getting a sugar high from it of some kind, and right then and there you pour, you refill and you overeat because of that. I think eating, sitting. Oh, I'm still hungry. I I wish I had more eggs. Well, I don't. Five minutes go by. Oh shit! I'm actually glad I didn't eat more right just then. I feel good. Like I think that that's a, a huge positive. But you're applying just sugary cereals to that. Like I could have even a, even a not sugary cereal. I I, mm. I think the access of it it's it's too easy, and I think it leads to overeating a lot of the time. Dude, if you ate the portion, even with a healthy cereal, if you ate the portion they told you to eat, it's insane, dude. You're like what? What? Like nobody eats that portion. It's like the ice cream servings, the Brian Regan, two scoops. Well, you know, whatever the the. Joke I was. also love the box, man. I oh, love yeah. I love reading the box, all sides. I love um, when the box has games on it. You know, maybe yeah. it has a couple of uh, word games. Maybe it has a maze. I'm gonna t I'm gonna top your cereal. I like box. that. Egg I like cartons redefining art classes across. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I haven't done. I haven't. Is that they still doing that? I think so. Yeah. I mean, they must be. What else are they gonna do? Yeah, but I'm saying like <laughs> it's a companion piece to the meal in and of itself. You know, you sit at the table and the box is in front of you, and everybody reads every part of that box. I just, it's just fun. Yes, but but you're you're also going now back to a, a certain kind of cereal. No, no, because uh, I also will read the box even when there's no games. I just mean the, uh, it's like a, it's it's a like I said, people have they have uh, a routine with cereal. <laughs> There's a way to eat it, and it's different for yes. everybody. I that I, I agree. Like that. I can't argue with that. Uh, I'll go a step further though. Bacon and eggs. I, well, you might say that this is, doesn't count, but you ain't making a sandwich with cereal. You make a sandwich with bacon and eggs. Does that count? Is that fair? Um, I mean, it's it becomes something different, but uh, you know, because if you're because if you need the bread, it's something different. Like you could eat one scoop of bacon and egg on a fork, and it's not the same as having a bacon egg and cheese. All right, uh, I enough. mean, or bacon and egg on you know on, on bread. Well, that's the other thing with eggs, man. We didn't even get into that. Throwing cheese on the eggs. You want to talk about adding ingredients, making it your own? Peppers, onions, tomato, fresh mm. tomato. Uh, uh, other meats, I, uh, uh, cheeses. I do you know. think the omelet is v is overrated. I, I actually, excuse me. I am actually not a huge omelet fan. Again, my favorite egg is a sunny side up followed by a scrambled. I'm not a huge omelet guy, but it doesn't mean that it's not a titan, titan force for the eggs. The omelet with bacon inside of it, an omelet station. They got an omelet station. Yeah, but I mean, what let's about, talk about the, what that. about those fun cereal dispensers where you turn it well, I was at the same place? I was going to talk like, about. Uh, I was going to say, or the little boxes—they're even more fun. You, got you a, feel like a giant, buddy. You got you got an omelet station. You got a guy back there, you know, dressed like he's going to slice prime rib. He's got the hat on and everything. He's cooking <laughs> it right in front of you. He's going crazy. He's got all the ingredients. <laughs> it's like watching. It's like watching one of those Japanese guys. Uh, hibachi. Yeah, hibachi guys. And then you go down, and you have a series of sad tubes. I actually you, love it. It looks like a Doc Brown invention, and you pull the thing out. And it goes, <laughs> I also will tell you that. You just made me think of something else. I also like the option to empty the bags into cereal Tupperware, and then seeing the 
array of different uh, varieties you have right in front of you. Uh, I also like the fact that if you want cereal at one of those stations, you're not sitting there waiting for the dope in front of you, and you're not sitting there waiting for them to cook that thing. You just you're getting your you're, cereal you're, and you're eating. You're going hard in the paint on this not having to wait thing. I think the having to wait thing is a good thing. I think it's mannerly. I think it's it, it, it exercises patience. I think the accessibility of cereal is a is a bad thing. It's a problem. You can get to it too quickly and too easily, and it leads to an over uh, 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 too high an intake. Knock knock. Who's there? The cereal bar. Cereal bar who? Cereal bar. It was supposed to end there. What? It was supposed to end there. What the hell are you talking I about? I have a joke. I'm just introducing the cereal bar into You're the conversation. You're not making any sense. What do you mean? I said knock knock. I yeah. prompted you. I knew you would take it and then understand what that meant. You said yeah. who's there? I said the cereal bar. Right. As adults talking, I figured that you would understand that that was just my way to intro the cereal bar. I've never a, seen an adult way. intro something like way. that. I mean, and you said back to me, cereal bar. Because I thought it was a joke you had. <laughs> by, the way, by the way, you know who doesn't have cereal or cereal bars? Who? Mickey D's, baby. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> God damn it, They got a Joe. bacon and egg platter. You got to stop it. They got the big breakfast, baby. I don't know how you didn't bring up McDonald's during pencil pen, but... I thought you should have. I did. I, I think I did. Yeah, I said pen is the McDonald's of, you did. of writing utensils. You yeah, did. I did. You have problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Folks, game time. They're here to help you get rid of that stress when it's time to buy tickets for your favorite upcoming events. It's the one-stop shop for last-minute ticket deals. There's flash deals. Uh, they guarantee the lowest price if you if you find an, uh, the same tickets in the same section of rows with a lower price, they will refund you 110%. That's amazing. That's amazing. And we're talking any event, sporting event, concert, whatever it is. Theater, sports, playoff games, whatever it is. They also let you uh -huh. see um, the view from your exact seat, which That's, is huge. Yeah, I think that is huge because you don't know what some, sometimes you get to the place, there's something blocking your you view. You know exactly you what whatever. you're getting. Seating Thanks. maps, seating images, uh, letting you buy tickets in a matter of seconds. Uh, it's just, it's all, and by the way, it's all sent directly to your phone, so you never have to dig through your email to find the tickets or anything like that. Game time's just making it easy. Why? Because they want you to get to the event and enjoy the event, not stress out trying to figure out how to do all that. Just Another take get it on done. that is what about when you find out something day of that you didn't even know? Exactly. You know what I mean? Yes. Not that you've been waiting months, but it's like, holy jeez. Yeah, well, well, I also, I like I like too, because I'm a last-minute kind of guy with, with the way my schedule goes, and I like that there is a service that lets me know, okay, if I go there and I see what the tickets are listed for, most likely that's the best possible price. And if for some reason it's not, they're going to back it with the 110% uh, uh, money back. Snag thing. the tickets without the stress with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use the code TASTEBUDS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, you just got to create an account and redeem the code using TASTEBUDS for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. What's up, guys? First things first, the Impractical Jokers Cruise is happening January 22nd to the 26th, 2024. We are hosting it with Eric Andre. Uh, there's going to be a ton of comics and bands and DJs. It's our fifth one. You can get tickets right now. It's 65% sold out uh, at pre-sale, so get tickets right now at GetShipFacedCruise.com. You could also enter to win a free trip. Impractical Jokers are finishing out the first leg of our tour now through July. All uh, dates and tickets are available at ImpracticalJokersLive.com. In the coming weeks, we have Minneapolis, Des Moines, Kansas City, Nashville, uh, St. Louis, and am I forgetting anything? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, Joe DeRosa here. My new record, The Penthouse Papers, Collected Readings, is dropping with a Special Thing Records on June 9th. I had a two-year-long op-ed column with Penthouse uh, magazine, and we got all my columns together, and I read them into a microphone. And from that microphone to your ears... How about that, folks? It's a nice, easy listen. It's sort of like an audio book. I want you to check it out. I think you're going to like it. I'm really proud of the writing. I'm really proud of the pieces. I was proud of them when they ran in the magazine, and I'm still proud of them, and I hope you enjoy them. 
And that's why we put this all together. Uh, also, if you're in New York, come to Joey Rose's. Open seven days a week, 11.30 a.m. each morning. Open into the night. Sandwiches available all day long. Affordable drinks, affordable food. Always a good time. Joey Rose's, NYC.com for details. And you can get that album where? Digitally on any platform you stream your music from. Uh, and if you want to buy it, you can actually pay to download it from one of those sites like iTunes that'll charge you. Uh, but anyway, no physical release, just a digital thing to lull you to sleep each night. Um, yeah, man. Uh, let's uh, go to, let's, what time is it? Let's go to the got? phones. Yeah? Yeah, let's where go to the phones. The, where are we at? All right. Let's go to the uh, phones. You... Let's take some calls. Yeah. That's all right. We'll, we'll still talk, but yeah. I just want to see what some yeah, people are saying. All right, yeah. Let's do some some phones for inspiration on talking points. I know Sal chose cereal. Magic Spoon got their hooks in him, and he never escaped. <laughs> <laughs> I will say one thing at the top of this. I also thought uh, before even doing this, I I think that it's way, It's definitely waited for bacon and eggs. It's a hot dish. I'm. Um, I don't know. I think people are going to get into the comfort food of cereal. I mean, if, if Seinfeld was voting, it'd be cereal. I know. I look. Cereal is going to be a tough opponent here. Cereal is and always will be the king of breakfast. Fast and simple. Uh, eggs, eggs, and bacon all day because cold cereal in the morning is like getting recruited to the army. I don't understand that. When I go unhealthy, I want a full heart attack. Bacon and eggs. Imagine looking at these options and picking the one that starts with the word cold. <laughs> I just said that. That's funny. Said it's hot. Yeah, that's very funny. Do you want to read some? Sure. I could do it, but why squint, you know? I want, hold on. I'm a vegetarian. I chose eggs because I, I like having joy. Okay. I despise milk. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. Bacon and eggs can sustain me until dinner. That is true. If you got a coast. Oh, well, we so already said hold on, that. hold on. I'm sorry. sorry. If you're talking about for dinner, cold cereal all the way. Now, That's if wild. you could rewind the tape about seven minutes, I, when he said, I've never, ever, no one has ever, I've never, ever heard of someone wanting to have cold cereal for dinner. I mean, there was someone it's, it's, in, staring at you when you when you said that. That does it right here. I, I stand by what I said. But the, the if a child ever said to you, "My mom gave us cold for, cereal for dinner," that sentence is followed by, "She was an alcoholic." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. The cereal isn't warm. Well, let me tell you something, Anna. There's fucking hot cereal. It's called oatmeal. I think it's, she might. I, well, before you jump on her, I actually was going to say I'm I on think, her already. I think she might be saying thank you for clar like me. I don't. She might not be being snippy. No, that's snippy. smarmy. Okay, all right. Uh, I can eat like four bowls of cold cereal for great. Two eggs, two pieces of bacon. I feel like my arteries are clogging. There you go. Nobody awakens from their sleep to the lovely smell of cold cereal and rushes downstairs. Crispy and fluffy protein versus soggy carbs. I put my frosted flakes in the microwave, then add milk to it. So would it be hot or oh cold? I've never heard God, of that. This guy's a pig. Yo, I don't, yeah, that. I don't even understand oh, what that experience is. That is nasty. But but I'm more intrigued. I, I, I mean, you're still eating the exact same thing. It's just that the flakes are warm. You ever microwave milk? It like curdles. No, he doesn't, he doesn't microwave the milk. Uh, okay. He microwaves the frosted flakes, and then he adds milk. Yeah. Oh, oh, I read it wrong. I thought he put put the whole thing in the way. That's less bad than I thought it yeah, was. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't really know what I can't imagine what that experience is like. I will try that. Uh, I'm a vegetarian and I know eggs and bacon is better. Eggs and bacon are better, more dynamic. I mean, I'm getting walloped. Wakey wakey eggs and bakey. <laughs> that is uh, that is good. Man, a eggs good and play. bacon. I forgot that there's a saying around mine. Man, man, eggs and bacon rule, but there's something about cereal. When you get it in your mind, you just gotta have it. I have stronger emotional connection with cereal. As sad as that may sound. No, we talked about it even before that. Cold cereal is my munchies food, but I also love some eggs and bacon, but it's only superior to cereal on an everything bagel. So there you go, cereal. Cinnamon toast crunch boom. Please, one of the worst cereals ever invented. Uh, uh, Un-American of me, but I strongly dislike bacon. The texture is just, the taste is so bad. I um, voted eggs and bacon, but a bowl of cereal is acceptable at all 24 hours of the day. 
I don't like eggs, but I love bacon. Cold cereal, like cereal. Yes, Carly. You can't get cold cereal at McDonald's. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Can you get his contact information? We just found his soulmate. (laughs) Cold cereal is my come home drunk, wake up hungover food, gobble up that cold milky goodness. I'm shelving that bacon and eggs. It's so tasty. I'm giving shelving. I don't understand what that means. Shoveling. I think he meant to say. No. I don't know what that. I don't get that one. I don't like eggs. I, thi- I cold cereal crunch is better than a bacon crunch. I mean, it looks like you have the weight on on your side for sure. I've never even. I've I've Cere- I've ever never been set full and uh, satisfied. But they switched it. Yeah. But meanwhile, the next guy says, nah, it's cereal because there's more variety. Cold cereal is ink eating and drinking at the same time. Oh, that's that's fun. It's Seinfeld's line. Oh, is it? Yeah. They, they, uh, the Q&A at the end of the, the HBO special, they go, Why do you, what, what's up with you and cereal? And he goes, there's just something about eating and drinking at the same time. My chickens may stop laying e- eggs if I don't say eggs, but bacon is the one that doesn't seem too fair. What? I don't know. All right. Some people, these tweets are like diary oh, go, go down a little bit. Go back a little bit. Cereal companies wouldn't even agree with you. That's why they say part of a well-balanced breakfast. What? Bacon and eggs, no doubt. That's what oh, I'm saying. I take the cereal. Some of these are like what De Niro wrote in his d- journal in hey, Cape hey, Fear. Hey. No like, one's I, preparing I eggs it. and bacon at their desk. They're hiding Wheaties in the bottom drawer and... Nicking Sandra's milk. There we go. Dipping your bacon into warm egg yolk is a religious experience. I think we see where we're going here. I, I don't know. I, I think it's actually pretty balanced. You, uh, dude, you're getting 10 to 1 here. I don't think so. I'm seeing... I don't know. Maybe I'm just... Since it's Pride Month, I'm going to go bacon and eggs because poor cog cock eggs come out of the butt squealing. <laughs> I mean, the last 20 have been bacon and eggs. Can we give that to the, for pride, let's give that the win. S- follow, oh, it's the same guy. It's Booty Time 69. Wait a minute, didn't we just give one to Booty Time 69? I bet you this is Aaron Berg. Who is this? You think it's that? We gave why, one why to you, Booty Time, was it didn't? last night? Dude, it's so funny oh. for you to go, oh, it's Booty Time 69. <laughs> we gave one to Booty we Time. No. no, it's just so funny to just hear you say it and seriously. Like, Booty was Time that 69? Last, I know, but was that last episode? I don't recall it at all. It was literally just well, there you go. Follow Booty Time 69. Wow. All right, let's go to the vote. Humble pie time, folks. All righty. Now, you seem to think... I, I, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to guess what the percentages are. I think you're going to take this one 80 20. Uh, I bet you're going to. I think you're going to take this one, from what I've seen in the comments, I think you're going to take this one 83 17. I will not be surprised if I lose. No, no. You're going to have about 83 to 17. Here we go, Pimpy. Roll that pie chart out here. Okay. Okay. That's almost. As close as the the last week's battle was like almost seventy five twenty five. Seventy four point four percent goes to eggs and bacon. Cold cereal gets a twenty five point six. Holy cow! What am I at? What's my record this season? You've been teeing off. I know, and I know I got to fulfill a second punishment. You do. But I was just gonna say that. I'm glad you said son it. Son of a bitch! I'm coming for you this season. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought that was a strong battle. I, did I knew too, I was gonna I lose. I knew I was gonna lose pencil, but those last couple of weeks. Were, were pretty good battles. I like how calm this was, too. Yeah. We needed a calm one. The The live stream got heated. Yeah. Our, the la- episode we did before the live stream got heated, pencil and pen got way more heated yeah, yeah, than yeah. I thought it would. We needed a nice calm this one. Is what, was, this was a civilized This was, And this battle. is the last time I will see you before we meet on our little trip together. That's right. This was a nice it's a way nice to parting. End it. It's a nice parting sensibility that we have here. I still love you. I love you too. Taste buds. They come into the mic. Talking about the food they hate. Talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic.